Welcome back, everybody, after our one-week hiatus due to illness. And I'm already starting off pretty rusty because, as you see, I'm just starting this on a picture instead of a video because I forgot to take better done shots. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get right into it. This week we're making something called a hot milk cake. So here we go. This is how you make a hot milk cake. All right, first thing we're going to need to do for this cake is to scald some milk. Now, I've never actually heard of scalding milk before, so I had to look it up online. And in the recipe, it calls for a half cup of milk. So we take that half cup, put it on the stove, heat it to about, uh, I think I found it said 180 degrees. And then once it hits that, take it off the heat and let it sit for about four to five minutes. And then it's good to go. So that's exactly what I did here. Now, while the milk's cooling, in a bowl, you're going to want to combine three-fourths cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir that and combine, and then set aside. Next, using a mixer, you want to beat three room-temperature eggs until, and I quote, the eggs are thick and lemon-colored. Now, some could argue that egg yolks are pretty much lemon-colored when they come out of the shells but use your discretion here uh the the time frame they said was probably about mixing of five minutes or so and i kind of just eyeballed it to your whipped eggs you're going to gradually add one cup of sugar until it's completely incorporated which again will take about five minutes or so for the whole process to complete next we're going to add all the dry ingredients into our egg and sugar mixture until it's all combined and smooth. And then finally we're going to add our one cup of now scalded milk along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract into our batter and then mix until it's combined. Next we're going to take the batter and add it to either a cake pan or in this case a 10 inch frying pan well greased as you can see. And that's going into a 350 degree oven to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now while that's baking in the oven, we're going to go ahead and make the topping. So into a bowl, you will add one half cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of soft butter, one half cup of chopped nut meats, and in this case I've got pecans, one cup of shredded coconut. I had just under a cup of shredded coconut, so I just went with it, and two tablespoons of milk. You will mix that until it's combined, and once the cake comes out of the oven, you will put it on top and cover it as best you can. And then you will set your oven on broiler, put the rack as high up as you can, and you will set this under there, and the recipe called for no more than three minutes, and I would say less than that, as you can see here, as it got burnt a little bit. However, a careful repositioning of the topping covered up all the charred bits. And unfortunately, I don't have any shots of it cut here because this was going to a dinner I was headed to later that day. Although I can tell you that this cake was actually really nice. It was very light, reminded me a little bit of coffee cake or even a pancake for that matter with the uh, topping on there. I would very much recommend making this if you were looking for a interesting, somewhat quick cake to make yourself. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next week on another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.